the news has been dominated in recent weeks, of course, by uh, sexual misconduct charges in the workplace, in Washington, in the entertainment world, and elsewhere. And on the heels of all these stories we're hearing, here comes office Christmas party season. What could go wrong here? Well, Rob Wilson is an HR expert and president of Employco USA, and he joins us this morning on WKZO with some advice that perhaps will help in that area. Rob, good morning. Good morning, Ken. How are you? Doing fine. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, this is a really weird time, I think, in the workplace, don't you think, with all the stories in the news of late? People are a little bit confused, uh, maybe don't know what to do, and they're I don't know. Afraid to do anything sometimes. You know, it is. It uh, every every day. Uh, it's another story of uh, either present uh, present harassment or discrimination or, or items from from years ago. So uh, people's heads are spinning on the uh, on the HR side. Well, uh, it is as we mentioned, getting into holiday party season at a lot of offices, and uh, you have some advice for people on how to address that in these uh, strange times that we're living in. And I guess alcohol is at the top of the list. I, there are apparently some offices that do a party with alcoholic beverages, but uh, you're suggesting that may not be a good idea at all. Yeah, I I think uh, you know with a lot of companies that uh, that we work with, they're they're going with no uh, no alcohol, no booze this year, or if uh, you know they're doing some pretty cool mock uh, mocktails, and uh, you know, it can still be festive. Some are, and the ones that are serving alcohol are, are definitely controlling the environment more than uh, than they would have been the uh, previous years. Ahead of any such office get-togethers, Rob, is it wise for a business to review its dress code policy? I, absolutely, you know, especially in the holiday, uh, you know, this uh, this time of year for holiday parties, you want everybody to feel welcome. You want you don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. So I think you really need to take a look at uh, at what your dress code is and and be black and white about it. You know, you, you get some of these invites to holiday parties or events that say you know city chic. What is that? So why not be black and white and, and just lay it out for people so they know what uh, if it's a professional dress code, uh, if, if it's casual, just be very specific. So there's no, nobody showing up uh, you know, either overdressed or in some cases underdressed. Mm-hmm. Back in the Thanksgiving holidays, uh, where there was a discussion around about whether it was wise to talk about politics at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Uh, what about that aspect of office parties? Should we just leave politics uh, maybe in the locker somewhere? <laughs> Yeah, you know it, it's hard to control what your what your employees and coworkers talk about, but I would try and steer clear of uh, political discussions, whether it's uh, the president or uh, you know, there, there's so much going on across the country, and people are still fairly fairly divided. So I would try and just keep that uh, keep the topic off the table, or if it if it comes up, try and steer it to a different direction. Many companies uh, engage in, and some employees as well, in uh, gift exchanges this time of year. Is, is that wise? Is that something that should be uh, viewed with caution? Yeah, I, th- I think, you know, if you're going to do it, you should still, uh, if, if you do do the gift uh, exchanges, I, we would recommend, you know, you really don't need to buy any. I, I, employees, don't buy something for your boss. The boss shouldn't uh, be buying different gifts for employees. And uh, just so you don't have any uh, issues of favoritism, the uh, and on the gift side, you know, we we have some clients the, the clients that uh, that do the you know everyone brings a gift, you pick a number and you could steal the gift and it, it's it's fun, but uh, still give people some guidelines so you don't have anything uh, off color. There was a quote uh, in the news earlier this morning, and I just heard it in passing. Uh, here in the studio, and I forget who said this, but uh, it was in reference to all the uh, misconduct stories that have been in the news lately. And uh, this person said that uh, in in the end, uh, all of this will create better workplaces around the country. Uh, that, I guess, could be true, but is it going to create more uh, unfriendly, cold, intimidating, hostile uh, workplaces, all of this uh, that's in the news? No, you know, I I think it. Uh, if if anything, it's going to create a, a better workplace where people should feel welcome, and uh, and you know, you can do your job, be in your career, and not worry about the uh, the harassment issues, so uh, in any kind of harassment. So, I think uh, in the in the long run, it's going to make a better uh, it'll make a better workplace. Rob Wilson uh, with us, HR expert, president of Employco USA. 
thank you so much for joining us, uh, sharing some thoughts on uh, the office party season. And uh, hopefully everybody will continue to uh, work to make the workplaces more comfortable for everybody here in the U.S. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks, Jen.